Good morning, baby Bobby! You ugly, buddy. Let's get, let's get Bobby back here. Dude, he heals over time, randomly. It's weird, I don't know why. Also, why are you still a baby, weirdo? Yo, I ran some vaults off camera. Look at this, I did some uh, plunders vaults. I did gain a level though. I think it was from the bounties. But look at this. Oh my gosh. I even got more than this. I, I accidentally unloaded some of it into our system. And we got some crates to open. But I need new gear. I, I feel weak. So I'm going to make this episode about making new tools because we're level 35. So we can make some new tools in this episode, which I definitely want to do. What's up? But on top of making new tools, I think that we should go through all of this gear. And I want to go through the gear first, so if you're here to learn about how to make tools better, make better tools than you currently have, uh, definitely stick around a little bit, because we're going to go over that. And it's going to make use of all of these jewels. We're going to need these jewels to do that, which we got a ton in the vaults that we ran. Great. We have every all of our gear right here. We should be able to go like that. Wow. Look at all mushroom boots. We got Omega. Look at that. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure these is this is these is, is everything. This sword is really good. Undead damage. Most of the mobs in the vault are gonna be undead mobs. The the attack range that could be a useful, but we can definitely put another like 16, 17, 18 damage on this. Which that would be the crazy part with this sword. And I guess the, the range is, is is useful. We could also work with this sword if we want more suffixes, so we could we could play around with that one. This helmet has a legendary roll on the health, so that's kind of crazy. It also has good it has max armor and really good ability power. We got these Omega boots with 500 durability. That is so bad. Oh, my current boots are broken. I might actually work with these ones instead, just because the ability power is higher. What I'm looking for is high armor, high ability power, and and uh, mana. Those are the only things I'm going to care about. So I don't know if we should really go with this, sh this helmet. Oh my gosh, I like these a lot. And it even has an open slot on them. So we can add something like resistance or attack damage or ability power. Also, I just noticed that there's also some of these prefixes and suffixes that you need to unlock in the archives as well. So that's good to know. All right, I think these are the pieces I'm gonna work with and try and get to a good place. What is this? I wonder if these have anything in them. Yeah, I think this is Santa. Is this is this Santa? Hello. He gave us some presents. I bought some presents. They're over here. You open them up and there's actually cool stuff inside. This is uh I think this is an Easter egg they put in. This is crazy. Well, I don't know. It's it's just weird that this guy has all of his stuff in presents and then you have to open the present. But he's selling like normal stuff that ends up being this stuff. So I'm wondering if this is an e this is just really cool. What's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome to my island. But but you know, you know what we have to do. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't me. Now I, I did just work on my gear. And first of all, if I sound different, it's because I am back home right now. I'm recording this from my parents' house. So I do apologize, it's not my normal setup. If I sound a little bit different, that is why. But I got all of this gear to a good place and I used every single one of my focuses, one of my foci. Um, I spent a lot of my gold. I think I'm left with 12 gold on me and just enough to be able to buy ourselves back if we do end up dying. But I did get all this gear to a place where I like it. And I wanted this gear, I focused on specifically ability power, armor, and mana. So 30% mana, love to see that. 20% mana, 19% mana. This one also has trap disarm, so that's cool. And then this has ability power up the Yahoo, then additional increased ability power and cooldown reduction, which is great. I also made this new sword, so I crafted the 18 attack damage. So um, our stats are a little bit better now. I can do a before and after. And I'm not sure how this is gonna actually work in the vaults. Because I want the increased ability power to see if increasing the ability power is going to make our Archon build better. But now I'm also worried that 
Uh, we may not have enough resistance to actually run this, because look at our hearts. We, we have no hearts now, which also means that using Kiwis is less of an option in the vaults now. But why don't we go ahead and do a before and after of our old gear and our new gear? So if we look right here, our damage is 52, health is 30, defense is 51, mana is 100, ability power is about 40. Oh, you know what? Our boots are also broken, so we don't get the stats from that. But the ability power would be a little bit higher. It would be about 45. No, 55. 53? Yeah, somewhere around there. And then the armor would be higher, which makes the defense higher. So defense is 51. Ability power is about 53. And now, with all of our new armor that I souped up and worked on, damage is 61. Health is only 20. Defense is 66. But the ability power is 93, Aww. which is absolutely nutty. And our mana regen is now at a 230%. Oh, we also got a new magnet. So our old magnet had 4.5 range, 8 velocity. It did have mining speed and item quantity and item rarity, which I loved on that. And our new magnet has like double the range, double the velocity, and better mining speed. So... I'm really happy about that. Oh, I should also mention I also started the free-to-play server, so I'll probably play on that a little bit too. So if you're interested in joining, the, joining that, join the Discord. It's a link down below, and either me or some other people in the Discord can help you join. Okay, I know I'm on vacation, and I'm going to take you guys in a vault anyways, because <laughs> I'm really curious to see how all this new armor does, so I figure you probably are as well. So yeah, let, let's just go into this vault together and see how this armor does, because I am super curious. Oh, dude, did I grab everything? Am I even ready? Dude, that's, that's how you know I'm on vacation mode. Most of the time, too, my toolbar just looks like this, so I think we could get one more tool. We could do one general pickaxe that's just meant for breaking everything. I guess, I mean, we, we would just be these, plus then maybe one more tool for ores, and then we could put a bunch of copious on that tool. So it's good to know for later in this episode when we start making tools. All right, I'm really hoping with Archon in a place where it does 75 damage per shock, this build feels good. Please, please tell me that's the case. Let's see. Oh yeah, you know what? I think that was a tanky guy. We only lost two hearts and we took him out really fast. So, you know, I am actually feeling really good about this. Ooh, look at that. Look at our new magnet suck these things in. Look at that, boom, I like that. Wow, yes, okay, so I, I like the fact that I'm only taking one to two hearts damage per POI, because that means we can just heal up right after. So I think that the health, I was prioritizing health, but now I'm thinking health is way less important compared to just making sure our armor is up to, up to par here. Because if we can just come in here, oh dude, these are tanky boys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, there's some lag there. <laughs> Ah! Oh, <laughs> shiz. Alright, let's see. We're really testing this out. Oh, 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 that's dangerous. Oh my gosh. Okay, but we did it and we're fine and we can heal up. That was um like a pretty intense situation, but I think with us only taking that much damage, we did have to heal in the middle there. Wow, yeah, no, this feels good. We're back at full health again. And that means we get our mana regen. Yeah, this feels good. And I feel like we're not running out of mana either right now which is good, so our mana regen is in a good place. Heck yes! We are once again Static Shock Boys. All we're doing is rubbing our socks on the carpet, going up to these guys with our finger, and then touching them with our fingies, you know what I mean? Know what I mean? You ever done that to a sibling? You know, your sibling upsets you, so you go get your socks, and rub them on the ground, and then go, go like, stick your finger at them and shock them? That's what we're doing, and we're, we're doing it well. Look at us. We're taking these things on. We're doing it. We're doing good. I could even technically get the ability power higher because we're still having to like two, three, four shot some of this stuff. I haven't used my sword once while we've been in here. I am kind of curious to see how the sword does. Yeah, like 40 damage, but our shocks do 70. Uh oh, we barely have any elixir and I haven't seen a lodestone in this first room. Dude, I found that most of the first rooms end up having lodestones or drop points in them. So I kind of like checking the whole rooms now. Four lodestones, I mean. Hello, sir, how are you doing? High five, yes, high five of doom. Yes, you all like my high five of doom. Oh yes, I love when our, our what's, <laughs> what's it called? Love when our trap disarm triggers and works. 
Alright, this is why I bring this elytra into these rooms. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh my gosh, I just saw my life flash before my eyes. Hello there, sirs. That was sketch. So having not that much health is very sketchy for times like that, when I elytra myself in the face into a wall and then get attacked by mobs and then get poisoned. But other than that, I kind of like the low health, high resistance builds, because then I can get my health back up to the top again, back up the full, and then start getting that mana regen again. Hello there, sir. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, look at this POI, dude. So many chests. Yes. Heck yeah. Dude, I don't even really have to worry about the guys anymore. Again, we're back, we're back at that stage. I feel like it's gonna go through waves where we get to this point where we feel overpowered and then we feel weak and then we feel overpowered again. You know what I mean? Like, I like when I can just ignore these guys and just loot. That's my favorite. I also need knockback resistance if we're gonna just ignore them so that they don't just keep hitting me while I'm trying to loot stuff. Oh yes, the good old wishing well of ores. I wish for an echo, sir. And I get a Lairmire. Classic. Oh, a champion. Oh, and I spawned in so many things. Okay. Let's see if we can pull this off. If I just run. Oh, I mean, I ran through the middle and I got most of them. Oh, gosh. What do I do about this champion? Hello, sir. What if I just go like this? Because I don't really want to mess with you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice and easy. <laughs> And I like that we have enough mana to be able to use that now. It's like we can actually use it. It's crazy. Oh, that felt good. That felt good. What do we get from him? Just a focus? Oh, boo. Blopal? Any Blopal? Four Blopal. Let's go. Oh, why are my subtitles on? Blopal? One Blopal. Heck yeah. Dude, the healing efficiency? It's literally just on the boots. 17%? Dude, I can feel that a lot. Like when I heal, I think it gives me an extra heart. It might even give me an extra heart and a half, like it's crazy. I think that's been helping out with our health a lot too. Actually, I love this new gear. It feels so good again. I love when I can play the game and just feel powerful and enjoy it, you know? Okay, here's here's the strat. I go up top and I get a cheeky little- oh gosh, no, because if I go up here then I'm gonna have to get the chests. Just problematic. I was just gonna peek up here for a lodestone, but oh my gosh, there's so many good chests up here. Oh, I'm so bad to sticking to plans. Oh, what did I just do? Yeah. Oh no, now it's not gonna work. Oh gosh, no. I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. There's a sniper. Oh my gosh, there's so many snipers. Oh no. That's all because I took the wand out of my hand. No, you're so gonna be so expensive. Wait, why is it only nine? Oh, dude, so much of my gear has soul bound? Oh, wow, that makes it a lot cheaper. Heck yeah. Well, that's good, because I die a lot. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Well, I am so poor. I'm not going to be able to buy myself back now. At least I know it costs nine. Whatever, I'll, I'll leave that. The rest can go in our, our fund for buying stuff. We get one of those Omega rooms. All right, so I'm going to run some more vaults off camera. They're going to be exactly like that, probably with me dying in most of them. Uh, I do like our new gear, and I'm gonna leave most of the loot for us to open together, okay? If I end up opening something on accident, and um, I'll definitely tell you guys or show you once I come back. But yeah, if I accidentally open something and it's really good, I'll definitely show you, so don't worry. But really quick, I do think that we should open up all of our bounty crates, because I did a bunch of those off camera. And okay, so we are not as poor. Oh my gosh, that is so much silver. We're not as poor as we thought we were. Bro, look at all this stuff. Heck yeah, this stuff is good. I thought I was poor, so uh, uh, it's good to know that I'm not as poor as I thought I was. Ooh, we got a catalyst. I think that's, uh, is that our first catalyst? I don't know, I'll put that in there. Let's open up our scav crate. Pick all this up, see what we got. A lot of gear, unidentified fragment. Platinum? Three platinum? That's 27 gold right there. Oh my god! Wow! Heck yes. Wow, and I thought I was poor. I'm, I'm kind of rich, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is, it has to be a joke, right? We have four. Four of this stupid dragon foot. What the heck? Oh, okay, cool. We are getting more of, oh wait, no, it's the seals that I need. I need more seals. Oh, we did get another regret orb. Love to see that. I do need a lot more of those. All right, and let's see what we get in this one. Ooh, I did see some 
Kiwis. Ooh, dude, we're overflowing with Kiwis now. Hey, look, we got two more of the seals. Heck yeah. And I said we just roll all this gear right now. Boop. Ooh, so many new transmogs. 27% healing efficiency? Yo. I mean, it's not really the best wand ever. I'll tell you what, if I put it... Oh, dude, we're out of our things, huh? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm too poor to mess with this because I'm out of, out of my focuses, these things. So I said we just look at the gear and see what's good. That's a possibly good piece of gear. Oof, I guess we'll put it down here. Nah, I'm gonna make a special chest for it right here for all of our good gear. Field shield's trash. Oh, we're in a new damage tier for our swords at 36. That's interesting. Oh, this could be a good magnet. Sure, the range is less, but it has a prefix and a suffix. Dude, that can get up to 10% copiously. Holy cow. This chest, we might be able to roll and do something good with as well. 3% movement speed. Oh, these leggings are definitely good. We're definitely gonna have to switch these leggings. Holy guacamole. Dude, I'm just gonna force the armor on this because both the cooldown and the mana regen are really good on these. And we're in a new tier for the mana regen. We can get up to 40%. Okay, so I might do something with this gear, but I'll let you know because I'm unsure right now. What's up? So I am now back from break. I mean, like, I'm back in my office now and I am trash. Look at that. Look at that trash can. I literally bought the trash cans mod. It was only one knowledge star. It was only one knowledge point, whatever. Just so that I can show my family this trash can helmet. Yes, they all loved it. I hope you do too. But I ran a lot of vaults. I, I actually lost count of how many vaults I ran. I ran a bunch because uh, I was just having fun messing around while at my parents' house. And I want to show you this. This is nuts. Now, this stuff came, all this loot came from some of the bounties that I was doing. It came from completing vaults and opening up the crates. And it came from actually looting the vaults. So, uh, we got seven mod boxes. We got a pog. We got a bunch of burger parts. We got some key pieces. I forgot one of the first vaults I ran actually had one of those dig site rooms. Dang, I really wish I could show you. Maybe I'll find an image online and put it up on the screen. But essentially, you just dig through the treasure sand and a bunch of random stuff falls out. I think that may be also how we got the pog. I'm not really sure. But we got 14 key pieces, which is nuts. We got some other goodies in here as well. Uh, we got a lot of chromatic iron. I think this was all from the treasure room as well. I don't know what they call that room. I'm just going to call it the treasure room. We got all these catalyst fragments from it. I think the silver as well. I'm not really sure, but we got a bunch of driftwood. We got a ton of unique gems. These are all the ones you need to make a pog. So we found at least one of every single gem that we need to make pog. So right now we can make one pog. Uh, with Ashium being our bottleneck. I think, I mean, I, I also have these in here. So I have a ton of Ashium. Uh, this is just stuff that I got from running those vaults while I was on break. Got a bunch of carbon. Got a bunch of new uh, jewels. Got a ton of gear, which I actually switched out my gear. I think I did a little um, additional stuff to my gear since we last saw. I'm not really sure. But this is where we stand. As of now, I think I removed some mana and added some... Yeah, so I think it was this piece we, we swapped out, just the chest plate, I'm pretty sure. And that also gives us trap disarm and item rarity and healing efficiency, because that healing efficiency I think helps a lot. We also got six health from it, so... You know, I, I think it was worth it to switch over to this. I have really been liking the build. I think I might have died in one or two of the vaults that I ran. I think I did like four, five, I think, maybe? Oh, yes, we can see. So let's see here. We were level 35. So we ran one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we ran six or seven because the other three were from before. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. I have some new gear. I think I can make this stuff work. I want to make a stun build. So we're going to get into that in the future. Also, I can reroll this and I can get 40% mana regen or as close as possible to that. And I might switch over to this. And we got some other good gear here that we can play around with. I might also make a lucky hit build, so let's want to hold on to that. Woo! Okay, cool. So, I do want to get into making a new tool. 
and I think this is the tool I want to make right here, how we can make better tools. So when making a tool, the first thing you need to do is actually make a tool. Now there's some at different tiers. We just turned level 35, so we unlocked these netherite tools. I made this netherite sickle, which took netherite ingot, which you can see I made some right here. And to do that, all I needed was some vault scrap and some chromatic iron. Chromatic iron we had a ton of, you can find it in the vaults, you can find it in the overworld, and you mine it out and then smelt it. The vault scrap, um, I found some in the vaults, but then for the most part to get the vault scrap, you have to uh, recycle old vault gear. So let's get rid of these boots and I will show you this. You just throw them right in here and they turn into vault scrap. Sometimes they can turn into netherite scrap and sometimes they will give you these special focuses. Yeah, these ones right here, fauceted focuses. And it rerolls all of your gears, your prefixes and suffixes, and it guarantees one of these modifiers. So those are pretty cool. Um, I don't really like them, but they're cool. And uh, it's good for you to know what they are. I'll put these back in here for now. I don't need them in my inventory. So yeah, I made this Volterite sickle. It's actually this right here. So this is what we made. You plop that in the jewel applicator, right? And then you just have to throw in a bunch of tools. I mean jewels. So the jewels that we want in here, we're gonna make a replacement sickle. So we're gonna want living affinity, gilded affinity, ornate affinity, and coin affinity. The other things I was going for was item quantity, trap disarm, and item rarity. I also wanted axing on it because there was a bunch of wooden stuff in the vaults that got in my way with just the sickle. It is gonna be nice to have the axing on there. The only time I'm gonna hate that axing is uh, if we get those coin omega rooms because those have a lot of wood with the coins so i'm going to be picking up a lot of that wood but whatever i think for the most part this is going to be uh good to have this machete now what i did to find these jewels is i went through every single one of my jewels now i have these two chests but then i also have these three chests over here so these are all the jewels that i found now what i did first if you sort this it'll actually put all the best jewels flawed jewels flawless jewels I think flawless is the best type of jewel that we've had. Yeah, but I'll put flawed and flawless jewels at the end here. And then you can see if any of these make sense. So, of course, I'm not going to want picking and shoveling on this. I, I kind of don't want any of those affinities except for the axing. I'm not going to want vanilla immortality on it. Not yeah, Again, vanilla immortality. Yeah, so a lot of these don't make sense, but a lot of them did. So like this one, this one had gilded and item quantity. Of course, we're going to use that. It's also a small size. It was size 10. And what does that size mean? So do you see right here this Volterite sickle? The capacity is 200. Every single one of these jewels that you applies uses up some of that 200. So for this one, it would use up 10 of that 200, meaning that you would have 190 space after you apply this one jewel. And I can actually show you that because before we had this jewel applicator, which I absolutely love, makes it super easy, you would have to go over to an anvil and do this one by one. So it was crazy. Um, Yeah, just be happy that we have the jewel applicator now. But look, now we have reaping, now we have gilded affinity, and now we have that item quantity and we have 190 capacity left on this tool. So we can go ahead and slap it back in here. Now, this is a big hack right here is the expertise. I was saving up a lot of my expertises just so that we can make better tools because the number one thing I care about in this game is being able to loot as efficiently as I can and having good tools is a huge part of being able to loot as efficiently as possible. So what this means is that we get three free cuts in the jewel cutter. Is that what it's called? It's this thing back here. Yeah, jewel cutting station, which costs silver scrap and gold. I am now poor. I have cut down a lot of these. And you can see expertise cuts. You have one, two, and three. Now, if I was going to try and cut this down again, it's going to recycle it because I only have um, one ability on this jewel left. So this one right here is a flawless jewel. It still has three of the attributes or abilities. I don't really know what to call those. We'll just call them suffixes. Suffixes. So I can't actually cut this one because it is the smallest size possible. It's size 10, so that's fine. This one, we can cut. We get three free cuts, and I'm gonna cut it down. Now, every time I click this, it's gonna cost one gold, and it's gonna cost five silver scrap. I'll press it once. Now, I went from 26 size to 22 size. 
Press it again, it went down to 18. And we want to get this as close to 10 as possible because that means that we can put on more jewels. Well, the last time, 14. So that was actually really good. That was good luck on this one. And now that means that we have this jewel that has 3.3 mining speed, ornate affinity, and picking on it. Now, I'm going to show you this and we can press this one more time and it will get rid of either the mining speed, ornate affinity, or the picking. And it got rid of the picking. So now this jewel is actually in a good place. It's size 12, which is a really good size um, for a future tool. Once we get to level 50, we're going to have chests called strong boxes or strong chests. And you're going to have to have mining speed on your tool that has like ornate and gilded and all that stuff. We don't have to worry about that for now, but that is how the jewel cutting works. That's why I wanted to put uh, all my expertise into this for this moment right here so we can get better better tools so when it's all said and done we are going to have this machete that has 10 percent item quantity it's gonna have gilded coin living ornate affinity it's gonna have some durability that's cool 33 percent trap disarm i like that that means that we're gonna get trapped a lot less in the future hopefully we can make one it does 100 percent trap disarm but for now our gear also has almost 30 so that means that we're gonna have about 60% trap disarm, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with that for now. And it's also gonna have 10% item rarity. It's also gonna have axing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then if we get any good jewels that are size, you know, small and we wanna add them on here, we can, cause it's still gonna have 10 <laughs> capacity. So look at that guy, heck yeah. Here, let's put this guy away. Woo, now I wanna enchant this bad boy up. Wow, I'm so excited to have this. Do we want a efficiency on this i guess i don't really know if we need it all i know is that we need unbreaking for sure i do have an efficient efficiency on this one so whatever i'll add it to this one and that is our new tool look at that guy uh 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 and it's cool he has 4000 durability 4400 and he has three repairs which is another thing that the Volterite tools does uh, over the chromatic iron. They have more repairs. So I'm very happy to have him. We're gonna be getting more loot, less traps, and we'll be able to break into all of the chests that we need to. Now, just looking at my other tool, I'm gonna want to make it a uh, picking, axing, and shoveling. I also want this one to break wooden chests, which mean that I want the speed on it to be very fast. And I don't think I care about the item quantity or trap disarm or item rarity as much as just being able to break the chest really fast. But if we do get that on there, it would help. And then I think I want a third tool, which I haven't been using a third tool, but I think I want a third tool that will be for ores, the, the ores within the vault. I want to make it a hammer. I want to have picking on it and then I want a bunch of copiously on it and and mining speed as well so that we can mine the ore super fast and possibly get more ore so what copiously copiously does is that when it procs when it triggers which if you just put this one jewel on you're gonna have a 1.6 percent chance it doubles the ore output if if you use silk touch You'll get two ores out of one ore. If you use fortune like me, it doubles the ore and then fortunes each ore. So you're gonna get a lot more ores by using this and I think it is time to do that. The only problem is right now I'm very poor. I just used all my gold. I can make more tools here. That That's the easy part. Uh, I also need to go through my jewels and make sure I shrink all the ones I'm gonna use. So if we're gonna use like, what do we use? If we're gonna use 15 jewels per tool and there's two more tools that means 30 more jewels that we're gonna have to spend three gold on each that's about 90 gold that i do not have oh sh how did i use all my where did i did not take my gold out of here now i'm upset where's my gold i did not realize i took all my gold out of there so we only have 20 gold left that's only two deaths yeah, so I need to run more vaults and get more gold so that we can make the other tools. I think item quantity and item rarity affect coins as well. I, I sure hope so. But that is going to do it for this one. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did it too. I hope you leave a like. I hope you are subscribed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye